I was watching these brothers sit here, and the Lord uh, has really begun to drop in my spirit that there is a great, I don't want to say revival, but the Lord says that there is a great movement of the power of God coming out of the black community. And the Lord says, because slavery started in the South, this movement will start in the South. And God said, there is, there is an element of anointing that has to be released from the African-American community to facilitate this last move of the Lord. And God said, I'm going to break. He says, this is why, says the Lord, there has been such a spirit that has been released through the media to start racism and Black Lives Matters and all of that stuff. It's because the devil sees what's getting ready to happen. And the Lord took me back to Azusa Street and the, and the Pentecostal movement that we see, in the, not just in the United States, but in every country in the world that Pentecost began to happen, it came out of a small old furniture warehouse out of a black man that was not allowed because of Jim Crow laws to be in the house of God. But there was such a hunger for the spirit of the Lord that he sat outside the window and would listen and the Lord says, I'm breaking down this middle wall of petition that the enemy has tried to raise up in this nation by the power of the Holy Ghost. Sunday, Hallelujah. And God says that I'm raising up voices in that movement that are going to begin to speak truth and speak life by the power of the Lord. God says, I'm loosing now an angel of death in the earth. And I've been hearing this in the spirit for some time. But the Lord said, even as I moved in the land of Egypt, when I got ready to bring my people out and loosed a spirit of death on the house of Pharaoh and his people, I am now loosing an angel of death, not just in the United States, but in every nation, says the Lord, that has resisted the hand of God. And God said, I'm going to let you behold Psalms 91 with thine eyes for they will fall on thy right hand and they're going to fall on thy left hand but they shall not come nigh into thy dwelling for you have asked me where am I where have you been Lord the Lord says I have been, been building a wall of protection up in this nation around the people of the Lord that when the enemy is judged it will not judgment will not be able to come inside of the walls and as I'm beginning to move in the next 90 days says the Lord you're going to see a shaking in this nation that though they said it could not happen be not moved by the fact that it looks like the wicked rule I still rule says the Lord I call the shots I wrote the game play for this tower saith the Lord before the men that are in power were ever born in the earth I'm still God and though I have been silent for a season I have been silent to see which side you would stand on but know this this night saith God the battle lines have been drawn in the spirit and the army of the Lord is on one side and the army of the enemy is on the other side in this season says the Lord right now there is an Elijah anointing that is loosed in the earth to destroy the spirit of Baal that's been in this hour and though this world says we are not religious know this the enemy has tried to raise up a Baal worship in the United States of America and this night saith God there is an Elijah anointing that is breaking down this idol and this image by the power of the Lord but in the season there will come an hour when it will no longer be the Elijah anointing in this hour but the Lord says in the last days I am raising up the spirit of David in the house of the Lord for this tabernacle of David cannot exist without there not being a Davidic spirit of the Lord that is released in the atmosphere
atmosphere. As I release this, saith God, you've already killed your lion. You've already killed your bear. But get ready, says God. That was done in secret. What you're getting ready to do, saith the Lord, will not be done in secret. But I will do it on the front lines. I will make the media film it. I will make the media declare it, saith the Lord. For the battle is not theirs. It's mine, saith God. I'm just getting warmed up. For this is an hour of praise, of anointing, of liberty. For the house of David is being restored, saith God. Hallelujah, I lose the boldness on you in the name of the Lord. Let there be a resurrection anointing. Begin to let loose in your spirit that out of your belly there will begin to be a stirring where deep calleth unto the deep. Hallelujah for the people that know their God shall be strong, shall be bold. And for decades, the Lord says, I've had men that would not stand for me in the heat of the battle. Were too busy pursuing their own kingdoms and building their own houses. So the Lord said, I turn to a no-name generation. And God says, the generation that the enemy has tried to steal, I am raising up in this hour, and they will proclaim the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. God says, even in the realm of what I can see in the spirit, I, I see all of these men and women that have done movies that have been on the screens. The Lord said, I'm getting ready to invade that element, that realm of people. And there's going to be a revival hit. Hollywood. Shut up, Bobo Bobo Sunday. Hallelujah. And God said, I'm going to save them. Fill them with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Lord said that over time has passed that I have tried to redeem men. But soon as because of their being famous, the church would use them and wring them out like a rag. Would not allow them to take root. Not this time, says the Lord. God says <clears throat> that I am raising up men and women that are going to be mothers and fathers in the house of the Lord. Did I not say, says the Lord, that in the last days I would raise up the spirit of Elijah and he would talk, cause the fathers to turn back to the children and the children to turn back unto the father. This is not a movement, says the Lord, that will ever be captured by man. Nobody will ever write a book about this movement, says the Lord, for when I'm done, I will look at the angel and tell him to put the trumpet to your lips and blow it because I am going to bring the church home. There is no story, hallelujah, that will ever be able to stand alongside of what you're getting ready to see, says God. In 2023, when it changes, there will be a full swing of the power and of the majesty and of the glory of the Lord. I'm going to do things that will be so strange. Nobody thought of them. Nobody thought it could be possible. And in one moment, it will look this way. And in the next moment, moment I will change it. God said that there are things in some of you that have been dead for decades that I birthed in you when you were in a child. But over these next three months I am loosing a resurrection anointing upon my people and gifts and anointings that you thought were dead. I blow on them by the power of the Holy Ghost. Even in this building from one side to the other. I loose, hallelujah, a resurrection 
resurrection anointing by the power of the Holy Ghost. All of these next three months, saith the Lord, there is going to be a wave of divine healing that's going to begin to hit the body of Christ. Without the laying on of hands, before you ever get into the house, when you drive up into the parking lot, saith God, there will be an abiding presence of the Lord that will begin to settle down upon you. The lame will come out of their wheelchairs. The blind will see. Hallelujah. The dumb will speak. The deaf will hear. Because I need people that are healed by the power of God. Though there have been small outpourings over the last few years, in the last few decades, they could not be sustained because every time men would put their hands on them and then they would die. But not this time. So the Lord says that the people that I'm raising up that will lead this army are no name people. People that I have brought out of the shadows, men and women that I've had hid for many, many years that have labored in amenity and wondered, God, do you know where I'm at? But the Lord said, because they chose me, even in the midst of sorrow and pain, God said, I am now beginning to raise them up overnight by the spirit of the Lord. And God said, I'm going to take men and women that pastored small churches and all of a sudden, hallelujah, I will blow on their ministries and they will begin to lead hundreds and thousands because they will not take the glory from the kingdom of God. And I'm going to also, says the Lord, shake the television ministry in America that they have called religious television. And the Lord says that for much of it, only the church has watched Christian television. But God said, what I'm going to do is of such measure and of such glory that national television networks will come and say, can we set up and film in the house what you are doing in the midst of this? And what used to be, hallelujah, for the enemy's glory will turn into the glory of the kingdom of the Lord. Everything on the earth, says God, belongs to me. I'm going to take your stadiums. I'm going to take your theaters. So, hallelujah, I'm going to take your civic auditoriums and I'm going to fill them up with the glory of God. They will be filled with the kingdom and the house of the Lord by the power of God. I'm going to take your children that the enemy has tried to steal and pervert. I'm going to baptize them. I'm going to invade your great schools. I'm going to invade your high schools where you said I was banned, where they said you could not pray. God said I will so fill your sanctuaries uh, with these kids uh, that they will be full of glory and of the power of God. Uh, I release a boldness uh, in the Holy Ghost. Uh, this night, saith the Lord, uh, I loose the line of Judah in this building. Uh, I put a roar uh, of the anointing of God in your spirit. Uh, shout, says the Lord, uh, for this is a day uh, of liberty. Uh, this is a day of freedom, says God. God, and I will not be denied. This battle says God has already been fixed. There are no strategies. And because I'm God, the Lord says, I already hear the voices in the meetings of the wicked and though they roar in public know this they are terrified behind the scenes because of what I am doing in the spirit the Lord says I'm going to deal with the strongholds that have been in this nation he said I'm going to deal with the stronghold of abortion which I've already started But the Lord says, even though I've started on a national level, every state that refuses to bow down to the word of the Lord, 
get ready, says God, for I'm going to loose natural disasters in the nation, in places that have been the strongholds of the enemy because they would not bow down to the hand of God. God said, I'm coming after every institution that has stolen the praise of the Almighty. And know this, saith the Lord, I'm going to judge Disney for what they have done. God says the enemy raised them up. And they disguised themselves as defenders of children when they were really predators, says the Lord. And I'm going to deal with them on the West Coast. And I'm going to deal with them on the East Coast, says the Lord. And the days will come, says God, when you will drive by and the gates will be shut. I see roots and weeds growing up in places that the enemy said, you could not touch us. Do you not know, hallelujah, that I am God Almighty? Do you forget, hallelujah, that I am the King of kings and the Lord of lords? Men have reduced me to a small fragment of who I am. But before there ever was life, I still was alive and well. I set the boundaries on the ocean waves. I declare when the sun rises and the moon rises. I declare hallelujah and keep the wild beasts at bay at the spoken word saith God I can do anything that I want do you think that I would die for a church and purchase her with my own blood and then let the devil come in and destroy her not so this is the hour of the church saith God I blow on this house in the name of the Lord I blow the abundance of God I blow the sovereignty of God I release the anointing of the Lord in the name of Jesus God said I will also move in the homosexual community and I believe that that's one of the reasons the Lord let me experience this in my own home and watch him watch God loose my son and the Lord says that that spirit has spread so much that it touches almost every single family, whether it's a child or a nephew or a daughter. And God said it is a root of a Jezebel spirit that has taken root in this nation. And God said, this time, I am not dealing with the tree, but I'm dealing with the root. <clears throat> and the Lord said, I'm going to uproot this thing. Hallelujah. And God says, get ready. They're coming by the hundreds and by the thousands into the house of the Lord. The Lord says, some of the greatest songs that you will ever hear sung will come out of the mouth of those that the enemy used to own. I'm going to set your platforms afire with men and women that used to be bound by the enemy and out of them will begin to come worship songs and songs of praise that will make heaven shout hallelujah and hell quiver for the demon spirits that have walked unopposed. This church, hallelujah, that I am raising up in this this hour, I am giving you authority by the power of God. For you have been timid in times past. But I am raising up an army that will stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the devil and declare, if God be for us, nobody can be against us. This will be an uncompromising church. This will be a powerful church. This will be a church that 
binds things in the earth uh, and I bind them in heaven. Uh, I have waited for you, saith God, uh, to rise up in this hour and to stand on my word uh, and declare our God uh, cannot lie. Uh, so this hour, hallelujah, I am raising up a house that is baptized uh, with the Holy Ghost uh, and with fire. And I'm also breaking racism, says the Lord. And God says, I'm breaking it on both sides. Parabobo Sunday. God said, I'm going to deal with black leaders who have promoted racism and being a victim. The Lord says, you are not a victim. Parabobo Sunday. And God says, I am raising you up. And there is a stamp of God that is going to be planted on men and women who are used by the power of the Lord. I'm also, says God, begin to deal with political leaders that have also promoted this thing. And I'm going to expose it by the power of the Lord. I am uncovering in this hour. For one of the greatest tools that the enemy has is he has made people think that he does not exist. I'm going to uncover him, says the Lord. And even as the Old Testament said, there will come a day when you see the devil and you will say, is this the man that made nations tremble? I'm going to uncover him and I'm going to show him that he has no power in the house of the Lord. I give you boldness, hallelujah. This night saith the Lord, here the voice of God. I have raised you up to be warriors and not victims. Challenge me, says God. For in this season right now, the Lord says, I've loosed a creative ability in the kingdom of the Lord. And I've talked about this a little bit, but listening to the to Dale Raising Up Integrity Network. The Lord said, I'm taking over the airwaves of the earth. And God said, I'm going to outshine and I'm going to replace Facebook. And some of these social networks. Because the Lord said, when I declared that the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all of the earth. I saw this day. So this time, saith God, the gospel will not be muted and silenced by ungodly men. Some of them are going to die in their young age, says the Lord. And there are many that you are not to pray for, says God, because they have already gone to the other side they have already been turned over to a reprobate spirit and they have become an enemy of the house of the lord and i give discernment to the house of the lord for there's too many that have said well we just need to embrace everybody know this saith god you need to be careful who you embrace and who you let in the house of the lord i did not come to bring peace saith god and you are coming into a war zone for the next few months because i have declared war in heaven hallelujah on the earth and against the enemies of the house of the Lord because I hear the cry of the bruised the broken the blind the broken hearted and the captive and this hour saith God I am raising up the church to be an answer to be a deliverer in the kingdom of the Lord you're going to bring them from the south the north the west and the east the Holy Ghost is going to break out in Walmart it's going to break out in Target it's going to break out in restaurants hallelujah for there is 
is a tidal wave of the anointing of God coming and the house of the Lord will not be able to contain it. It's going to be a wave that starts on the east coast and it's going to begin to go from New York all the way across until it hits Washington State down to California up to New Mexico on through to Florida. Hallelujah. Until I have hit this nation from every state with the glory of God. They'll say come over here. God's moving. You'll say we can't. He's already moving here. This is not for one person. It's not for one church. But it is for the kingdom of the Lord. And this is why, says God, I have raised up prophets in this hour as the primary voice because they were to declare what you could not see in the natural. But it won't be long, saith God, that it will not be the voice of the prophet, but it will be the voice of the church because what they have prophesied you will behold with your eyes. God said, there is tender of revival all over this nation. Hallelujah. I see it hitting Oklahoma and the Indians. Hallelujah. There's a revival going to begin to hit them by the power of the Lord. This, saith God, is going to be so unconventional. How you're going to have church is going to be so different from what you're having tonight. You will not be able to plan it. You'll come in sometimes and you won't even be able to get in the building because the Spirit of God will be so strong outside the building that people will be laying out in the grass and on the parking lot speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God giveth the utterance. Sometimes, hallelujah, they'll just begin to play on the instruments before church starts and the glory of God will settle down in the building and all of a sudden the whole audience will stand up and begin to sing the song of the Lord that they've never been taught because it will be a holy utterance that's coming out of heaven up out of their bellies. It does not matter your age, say God, the spirit of the Lord is going to hit the old age and you're going to stand up like Caleb and say, I feel like there's fire in my bones. I'm just as strong today as I was 45 years ago. I break the spirit of feebleness in the name of the Lord. I curse Alzheimer's in the name of the Lord. I curse dementia. I curse Parkinson's disease in the name of Jesus. God says the first wave of healing that's going to hit the body of Christ is I'm giving the church authority over cancer. God said this plague of what leprosy was in the Old Testament is the leprosy of the New Testament that we call cancer. And God said, I'm going to give the church, hallelujah, authority. And the Lord said they're going to come. Pretty soon, says God, in every service, you will see people healed of cancer by the Spirit of the Lord, by the power of God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord says, I have primed the pump. And even in this night, in this house, there is a artesian well that is beginning to come up out of the Spirit of the Lord upon the ministers of this house. Hallelujah. I loose a fresh anointing upon you in the name of Jesus that by the time you get in your pulpits, by the time you get back in your fields, there's something happening in your spirit. You saying, God, God, what is this? And the Lord saying, don't worry about it. I'll fill your mouth with my words. You'll stand up and say, what is this? And I will say, this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. In the last days, saith God, your sons and daughters are going to prophesy. Your old men are going to dream dreams. Upon all flesh, I loose the glory of God. Even out of this building, may it get loose right now in Elizabeth 
Oklahoma City, North Carolina. May there be a visitation of God. May the fire of the Lord get on the roof of this building in the name of the Lord. May the smoke of God's presence begin to fill this sanctuary by the Spirit of God. Yeah, mama, mama, Sunday. And God says, even though there's a great outpouring in my spirit and a reward for diligence in the spirit realm, the Lord said also, there is going to be a great blessing in the natural realm. And the Lord says, for those who have been faithful to me in your years of struggling, even though you tithed, God said, I'm going to give you houses. That you did not build. You will sit in them and have to pinch yourself and say, how did we get here? And God's going to say, it is a reward. But there will be such a hunger for me, says God. That even though it will be a blessing to the natural, it will pale in comparison to what I am doing in the spirit realm. Because you did not get drunk on prosperity. Because you did not sell out. God know this. Hallelujah. I am taking the wealth of the sinner. And I am going to give it back to my people. By the spirit of the Lord. The days of struggle are over. I am going to make the enemy give the church the best buildings in the city. I'm going to take officials of cities and make them turn over auditoriums to the house of the Lord. And you will fill them up and see the glory of God. I say this to you. No more toil. No more hardship. No more labor, says God. But this is an hour of not sowing, but it's an hour of reaping. Hallelujah. And the reaping is going to be powerful in the kingdom kingdom of the Lord. God said the church has been ineffective because she's been defensive and not offensive. The Lord says the church had the mindset that the world would leave us alone. We would leave them alone. God said, I never raised you up to live in peace with the enemy. God said, what I am raising up is an army of men and women that are offensive in the kingdom of the Lord. You are going to attack, says God. And there will be no fear in your belly when you attack by the spirit of the Lord. For the spirit of David that is in this hour that I am raising up will make you run down the valley after your Goliath. Hallelujah. With the rock of ages in your sling. And you will declare because we are in covenant with God. God before us. And we cannot be defeated. I'm going to tear down the strongholds. I'm going to knock down the giants. No more little bitty things. No more little demons. But I'm giving you authority, says God, to come after strong men. Strong men. Strong men. Even over this city. I break tonight in the name of the Lord. I break the spirit of racism. I break the spirit of poverty. And I loose the favor of God. Even as I cause Israel, who looked like a desert when I breathed on her, she bloomed uh, like a garden uh, I breathe on you hallelujah that the soil uh, that would not bring fruit uh, is going to bring fruit uh, by the spirit of the Lord God said I've already started this and it cannot be stopped the Lord said, this is not another movement like Pensacola or Toronto. This is not a revival, says God. This is the final harvest. And do not listen to those who say it's going to be difficult times ahead. 
My people have already lived in difficult times. And they stood in covenant with me. This harvest shall be brought in with favor, joy, and blessing, and liberty, saith God. And even as I cursed Egypt, but I blessed Goshen, so shall ye see now that for such a long time in this nation, the wicked have prospered and the righteous have suffered. God said, I'm flip-flopping it. And Lord says, I have... Men all over the world that are extremely, extremely wealthy in the billions. And God said, I'm going to begin to move on men that will come to churches and say, I'm not a Christian, but I can't get past. I have to give this to you. And the Lord said, I'm paying off every mortgage of every church. That has allowed the presence of God to move. And not only that, says the Lord, I'm releasing enough funds that you will never be in debt. That you can hire the enemy to build the Lord's house. And that there will be joy in the kingdom of the Lord. I am also breaking the spirit of debt off of the tithers. In the kingdom of the Lord, saith God. Marabobo Sunday. Hallelujah. For it is not social security, saith God, that is your support or your source. It is me, saith the Lord. And in this hour, if I could sustain them in the wilderness, I could sustain you, saith God. Oh, tonight, I anoint your eyes. If you will ask me over the next few weeks when you go to prayer, God, let me see what you are doing. The Lord said, I will begin to reveal secrets to you. I will begin to pull back the veil and show you that which is to come. For it is joy unspeakable and full of glory by the power of God hallelujah Hallelujah. God said my pulpits have been silent with anointed preachers God said I've had motivational speakers and I've had teachers but God said I've longed for preachers for it is through the preaching of the gospel That the lost will be saved. I see the day coming. Lord says that. Some of your children. Eight and ten years old. Are going to stand and preach. Under the anointing of the Lord. Sunday, Hallelujah. 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 And God said there are some who. You had a gift in you when you were young and it's been silent for 30, 40 years. The Lord said, I am blowing on the coals of gifts that have died. And the Lord says, as you blow on an ember and it comes into a flame. God said, I blow on you in the name of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. And I release the power and the flame of God. To the degree that depression, says the Lord, has been on this nation, is to the degree that joy is coming on the house of the Lord. For when I did not rule, it was a night season. But know this, that the church that I am raising up in this hour is a light that will shine in the evening time. This is why the Lord declares weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. For the son of righteousness says God is arising with healing in his wings. As I begin to release the joy of the Lord, 
pharmaceutical companies are going to begin to lose money. They're going to begin to go bankrupt. And I, thy God, make a covenant with thee on the pharmaceutical companies that lose the coronavirus and the vaccine upon this population. I'm going to put a curse on them in the name of the Lord. And what they intended on you, God said, I'm going to turn on them. I'm going to send a plague, says God, to the wicked that they will not have an antidote they will not have an answer to and they will lie like dead bodies in the street because of the judgment of God I still am God and when my wrath hallelujah is poured out on the earth the lamb of God will celebrate the marriage supper of the lamb in heaven you know me as a lamb but the world's getting ready to know me as a lion there is a roar of the line of Judah that's beginning to come up uh, out of the atmosphere when this line roars saith God uh, then I will shake the earth uh, with my roar uh, and everything that can be shaken uh, will be shaken uh, to strengthen those things uh, which shall remain saith the Lord for men thought because they did not receive a recompense for what they did that they got away with it. But the Lord says even with the sealing of the election. God said they crossed the line. Because this nation has been known for justice. Freedom and equity. And you watch me say it God. I will recompense. And I will reveal and I will uncover what the enemy did in secret because I'm still God. But I have waited, says the Lord, to fix this because too many look to a man for redemption. And he was not your redeemer. So I'm waiting, says God, until it looks so impossible. So unattainable that when I do it, you will say, only God. Only God. Only God. How many can begin to give you political leaders for the first time that are going to be baptized with the Holy Ghost? Sunday, Hallelujah. <clears throat> I am so going to revolutionize this nation, saith the Lord, because this nation, says God, is the gate to the world. And as I move on this nation, God says, this move of the Lord will open the gate that I will flow through. And I will begin to hit nations all over this earth. And there will be revival. You will see it in Australia. You will see it in India. You will see it in Pakistan, says the Lord. God said there's such a revival coming to the nation of Cuba. That from one end of the island to the other, they're going to be known as spirit-filled, Holy Ghost, Pentecostal people. And I, in a moment's time, am going to reverse what Castro did over his 40-year reign, 50-year reign. And I'm going to loose revival in that nation by the power of the Lord. It will not come through a missionary, says God, for there is already so much seed in the soil that I'm just going to speak a word to it, says God. And the glory of the Lord shall begin to be released. For you say, Lord, what do we do in preparation? Nothing, says God. Stand still and behold the salvation of the Lord. Get ready to behold me in my glory. Who is this that cometh out of the wilderness? Is it not I, saith God, arrayed in my glory and in my splendor? And I shall cause every knee shall bow and Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord of glory.
God said in Jeremiah, my word is like a hammer that breaketh rocks into little pieces. And the Lord said the prophetic word of the Lord that's being released in the atmosphere over the last several couple years has been hammering at the strongholds of the enemy. And God said, I'm going to reveal every false prophet. I'm going to judge everyone who flip-flopped. Say it, the Lord, because my word is breaking. And God said every time a prophetic word is released, it's like it hits a stronghold of hell, the walls of Jericho, and another crack hits. Until one moment, it'll look fine, and the next moment it will crumble. And God said there is a silent movement of my people that are walking around the walls of Jericho, saith the Lord. And even as Jericho was the strongest city in their inheritance, so know this, you are circling strongholds that the enemy says cannot be penetrated and cannot be breached. I'm going to breach them, saith the Lord, and the enemy will one day say, how did this happen? What happened? How did this come about? And we will know this, the Lord did this thing. So this night, saith God, I put strength in your belly. Hallelujah. I put hope in your spirit. May God anoint your eyes right now to begin to see in the Holy Ghost those things that God has prepared for those that love him God loose faith in this house in the name of Jesus the Lord said I'm loosing gifts hallelujah gifts are being released to the body of Christ God said begin to ask me of things hallelujah and I will begin to give them while the ask is still in your mouth by the spirit of the Lord God we bless this house in the name of the Lord Jesus that this is no longer a special service but there's a whole nother congregation waiting to get in build 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 hallelujah for the harvest it's coming don't worry about the money it's coming it's here it's been released in the atmosphere get ready says God for you are in the middle of a river that has been parted by the power of the Holy Spirit Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's something that's been in my spirit the last couple of days. I keep hearing God say this. That the Jezebel spirit took men and churches and turned them into eunuchs. And the Lord said, I'm going to touch those who have been touched by Jezebel. And they're going to bear fruit again. In the spirit of the Lord. And it will be a eunuch anointing. That will throw Jezebel out of the windows. That which she tried to destroy. Will be her executioner. In the name of the Lord. I curse that spirit off of this nation. In the name of Jesus. We declare the spirit of justice to hit our Supreme Court. God, may you bring judgment on every Supreme Court justice that's unholy, that has made an alliance with the devil. Clean it up in the name of the Lord. God, we ask you to begin to loose the hand of God in Washington, D.C. by the Spirit of the Lord. Know this, saith God, that there's going to be such a release in my spirit that Yale and Princeton and Harvard that started out as Bible schools are going to embrace the glory of God again and the spirit of atheism hallelujah is going to be broken in the name of the Lord and where they've turned out scholars they're going to turn out preachers hallelujah where they've turned out atheists they're going to turn out believers in the name of the Lord oh my God says do you not know I have not seen ear hath not heard the things that I have prepared for my beloved saith God Sitala Bobo Sunday. Why don't you stand with me? Because that's all I got prophetically. 
My wife says, I just can't sit down after I get done. I have to pray over you. So I want you to put your hand on your heart. God, we declare that the soil that's in this house, the word of the Lord that has been released by the Spirit, oh God, let it begin to take root. <laughs> Dry our tears. And God, let the shout of your spirit begin to come up out of the bosom of thy people. Lord, when they crawl into bed tonight, they'll go, oh my, I'm healed. In the name of the Lord. Let children begin to call in the next 24 hours and say, I want to go to church with you. God, I'm asking you to give this church such favor in this city. In the name of the Lord, that it's unprecedented. In the name of God. Now, Lord, I bless this people in the name of Jesus. I bless your saints. God, I bless the bride of Christ. I bless God, hallelujah, those who stand for the word of the Lord. God, we command that every demon spirit be bound in the name of the Lord. God, may there be a fence of protection around every saint of God in this sanctuary tonight. That no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every word that rises up against you in judgment, you shall condemn in the name of Jesus. Now, God, let heaven be opened over these men and women and over these churches that are represented. Let it never close and let the favor of God hallelujah bring abundance both in the spirit and in the natural God give us our life back give us our shout back put hope back in us Lord that we no longer say the worst has yet to come but we declare that the best is yet to come in the name of the Lord Jesus God give us the wealth of the wicked hallelujah bless those that have given unto thee and may the favor of God and the smile of the Lord be upon you in the name of Jesus we pray amen amen amen